Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam using consistent deformation method. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load for the full span. We have to derive the expressions for the fixed end movement at A and for the vertical reactions. And then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Then if the prop settles downwards by delta, we have to find the prop reaction. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. They are MA, RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2. We will get 1. To make this beam statically determinate, we have to remove any one of these. Let us release RB. Here you can see that I have removed RB. Now the point B becomes a free end. Previously we had a propped cantilever beam. But now it is a cantilever beam. We know the formula to find RB. P delta is equal to delta minus delta L. We can take delta on the other side. It will come in the denominator. In the beam, initially in the point B, there is no settlement. So delta is 0. So for RB, we are getting minus delta L upon delta. Now let us find delta L. That is the deflection in the point B due to the uniformly distributed load. We know that in the cantilever beam, if the UDL is acting for the full span, the formula for the deflection in the free end is WL power 4 upon 8 EI. Let us apply that for delta L. Since the deflection is downwards, it will be negative. Now let us find the displacement due to unit load delta. To find delta, we have to remove all of the loads and apply unit load in the direction of RB and then find the deflection in the free end. We know that the formula for the deflection in the cantilever beam when the load is acting in the free end is WL cube upon 3 EI. Here W is 1, so we will get L cube upon 3 EI. Let us apply that for delta. Since the deflection is upwards, it will be positive. We have found delta L and delta. In this formula, let us apply them. Negative into negative, it will become positive. Then we can take this term inversely and then multiply. We can eliminate EI. And we can eliminate L cube. Here it will be L. Finally for RB, we are getting 3WL upon 8. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find RA. RA and RB are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. The UDL is acting downwards. So it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance. Here the distance is L, W into L, we will get WL. For these two terms, we can take LCM. Let us keep 8 as LCM. 8 into WL, we will get 8WL. 3WL minus 8WL, we will get minus 5WL. We can take minus 5WL upon 8 on the other side. So it will come as positive. So for RA, we have got 5WL upon 8. Now let us apply the rule sigma m is equal to 0 and find ma. I am going to take moment about A from the point B. In this case, I am moving towards the left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is L. UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Here the distance is L, so L into L by 2. 
let us assume that MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive L into L we will get L square for these two terms we can take LCM let us keep 8 as LCM for that we have to multiply this term with a 4 in the numerator and denominator 3WL square minus 4WL square we will get minus WL square then we can take this term on the other side so it will come as positive finally for MA we have got WL square upon 8 now we are going to draw the shear force diagram to find the shear force in the point A we can use right hand side rule upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative using that for shear force at just to right of A we will get 5WL upon 8 to find the shear force in the point B we can use the left hand side rule upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive using the rule for shear force at just left of B we will get minus 3WL upon 8 here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes 0 so in this point there will be maximum positive bending moment in that point let us make a section and let us keep the distance as x we know that in this section the shear force is 0 let us use left hand side rule upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive this load is acting upwards so it is negative the UDL is acting downwards so it will be positive when the UDL comes we have to multiply with the distance the distance is x so w into x we can take this term on the other side so it will come as positive then we can eliminate w finally for x we are getting 3L upon 8 now let us find the maximum positive bending moment this load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3L upon 8 the UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative when the UDL comes we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2 L into L we will get L square 8 into 8 we will get 64 here also L into L we will get L square 8 into 2 into 8 we will get 128 for these two terms we can take LCM let us take 128 as LCM for that we have to multiply this term with a 2 in the numerator and denominator 18 WL square minus 9 WL square we will get 9 WL square so the maximum positive bending moment is 9 WL square upon 128 and it occurs at the distance of 3L upon 8 from the point B. Now let us find the bending moment at A. Here we can use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point the bending moment becomes zero. This point is called the point of contraflexure. Let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point B. Let us find the moment in this section. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is x so x into x by 2 we can eliminate x also w four twos are 8 so for x we have got 3l upon 4 we have got this distance from the point b suppose we have to find the location of point of contraflexure from the point a we have to subtract 3l by 4 by l when we do that we will get l upon 4 in the question, we have been asked to find the prop reaction. When the prop settles downwards by delta, let us find that. 
we know the formula to find rb delta minus delta l upon delta we have found delta l and delta let us apply that we know that there is a downward settlement and it is delta since it is downwards it will be negative so instead of delta let us apply minus delta minus into minus it will be positive let us take this inversely and then multiply let us multiply both of these we can eliminate ei and we can eliminate l cube here it will be l so if there is settlement the formula to find rb is minus 3 ei delta upon l cube plus 3 wl upon 8 also if you like you can take 3 ei upon l cube outside so the formula becomes like this now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video